Hello, I'm Yuri Kirichok, assistant professor in the Department of Physiology at the University of California, San Francisco. And I'm Polina Lyshko, a specialist in Kirichok lab. Join us as we discuss the role of pH in regulation of male fertility. Spermatozoa are highly specialized cells with the sole function of delivering paternal genetic material into the egg. Sperm motility is different depending on the location in the male or female reproductive tracts. The key regulator of both sperm motility and fertilized nobility is sperm intracellular pH. Fluids of the male reproductive tract make sperm intracellular pH highly acidic. This low intracellular pH keeps mature spermatozoa quiescent and prevents them from burning out prematurely. In contrast, when spermatozoa are ejaculated and introduced into the female reproductive tract, the new environment causes a progressive increase in sperm intracellular pH, which results in progressive activation of sperm motility and fertilizing ability. In spite of the fact that high intracellular pH is required for sperm activation, the identity of the molecule which elevates sperm intracellular pH by extruding protons from the sperm cell has long remained unknown. This problem was extremely hard to address due to the lack of direct methods to study transmembrane ion transport and electrical activity of the human sperm cell. We address this question by successfully applying patch clamp technique to the ejaculated human sperm cells and recorded for the first time an electrical activity across the whole cell plasma membrane. This technique allowed us to discover that the sperm cell has enormous proton conductance. And this proton conductance gradually increases as the sperm membrane potential becomes more positive. This huge proton conductance can elevate sperm intracellular pH by extruding protons outside and therefore this proton conductance can activate sperm cells. But how is this proton conductance regulated? We found that extracellular alkalinization dramatically increases voltage-dependent proton current in the sperm cells. Moreover, we found that this proton conductance can be upregulated by endocannabinoid anandamide, the substance which is known to be released from the cells which surround and protect the egg. The further study revealed that this pure proton conductance is potently inhibited by zinc. The highest concentration of zinc in the human body, about 3 millimolar, is present in male seminal plasma and therefore this seminal zinc can prevent premature activation of the sperm cell by inhibiting proton conductance. All mentioned properties of this proton channel match those of a known voltage-gated proton channel, HV1, a molecule previously known to be expressed in macrophages. And indeed, we found that HV1 is highly expressed in human sperm cells and is specifically localized to the principal piece of the sperm flagellum. In conclusion, by combining electrophysiological, biochemical, and molecular biological techniques, we found that human sperm cells possess a voltage-gated proton channel HV1. Activation of HV1 by voltage, alkaline extracellular environment, anandamide, and removal of extracellular zinc should lead to functional activation of the sperm cells. The whole cell patch clamp technique reported in the study significantly advances our ability to analyze the mechanism of human fertility. The importance of HV1 for sperm activation makes it an attractive target for controlling male fertility. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more about research in our lab, please visit our website.